Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I want to share with you the story of Jim's wife cheating with her male coach. My wife's name is Alice, and she is very strict about her physique. She is slender like a willow, with a slim waist that can be held with one hand. With exquisite attire and black stockings, when she walks on the street, any man can't help but take a second look at her. At home, she enjoys practicing yoga with online courses. With a pink yoga mat on the floor and wearing tight workout clothes, she performs various seductive poses that even I can't resist watching. Recently, she became obsessed with going to the gym and would work out until late at night every day. At first, I didn't oppose it because she was keeping her body in shape, and I was the one benefiting from it. However, I've been feeling uncomfortable lately. I've heard others say that gyms can be chaotic, with many muscular men, and beautiful women who go there are often touched inappropriately. My wife belongs to me alone, and I don't want her beautiful figure to be displayed to anyone else. One afternoon, I saw my wife doing the frog pose on the yoga mat. This pose was particularly enticing, exuding a hint of charm. Alice, my wife, was on all fours on the yoga mat, and from behind, her buttocks were round and petite. It had been a long time since we had been intimate as a couple. During this period, my wife always used work exhaustion as an excuse to avoid intimacy. Finally, I couldn't control myself anymore, and I wanted her to fulfill her duties as a wife right then and there. No, not today. Let's do it another day. Alice bluntly rejected me without hesitation. I was holding Alice on the ground, about to kiss her long neck, but when I heard her words, I was completely stunned. No one wants to be rejected by their spouse, especially considering that Alice used to be a woman who was not easily satisfied. Her long neck was as white and flawless as jade, extremely enticing. Unfortunately, Alice didn't want me to exercise my rights as a husband. I instantly felt deflated, like a frostbitten eggplant. I sat on the couch, feeling suffocated. My cold wife, if this continues for a long time, it might affect my virility. I thought about the recent changes in Alice, and I felt that something was different about her. Before, although she complained about my income not being enough, she would still demand satisfaction from me every now and then. Sometimes, even after she got what she wanted, she would continue to pester me to satisfy her. But now, this coldness had been going on for over a month. Which man could tolerate this, comma, my first thought was that my wife might be involved with another man. This thought startled me. Upon careful consideration, Alice's change did start after she joined the gym. Could it be that she met some fitness enthusiast or muscular man there, comma, I looked at Alice's phone lying quietly on the table. I couldn't help but have some thoughts. I knew her phone's unlock password because Alice often forgot her passwords, and she used the same one for everything. I secretly picked up her phone, and the screen lit up revealing the sexy and beautiful figure of Alice. Her skin was fair and incredibly alluring. She was wearing a workout outfit I had never seen before, a very tight one that perfectly outlined her lower body's curves. It had an off-shoulder design, and the back was partly exposed. Only then did I realize that Alice had changed her phone screen. It used to show her wedding photo, even though it was just her alone. But now, the photo was too explicit, even making me blush when I saw it. When did my wife become so open-minded, comma, I was about to open her phone and take a look when suddenly a WeChat message popped up with a loud notification sound. The content of the message instantly struck me like a bolt from the blue. Darling, let's book a hotel room tonight. I will make you experience heavenly pleasure. I've even bought handcuffs, Comma, I was sure it was a man who sent this message, otherwise, they wouldn't say something like that. My wife cheated. It all happened so suddenly. Just as I was about to open her phone to see all the messages, 
Alice suddenly turned off the faucet and hurriedly came out of the bathroom. She wanted to leave in a hurry. Before Alice came out, many thoughts flashed through my mind. I even thought about going to the kitchen to grab a knife and confront that man. But reason suppressed my crazy thoughts. I've seen many reports about husbands catching their wives cheating, killing their wives' lovers out of rage, and ending up in prison while the wives simply remarried. The ones who suffer the most are their parents. Alice wiped herself in the bathroom, wrapped in a towel, and hastily came out to check her phone. Meanwhile, I sat on the couch, pretending to play with my own phone. Alice glanced at me and took a quick look at her phone. Beep beep, a couple of times. It was definitely a message to her adulterer. Based on the sound of her pressing the keys twice, I guess that she didn't respond with a simple OK comma, tonight, I'll be working out late, so don't wait for me. Just go to sleep, she replied. After speaking, Alice went to the bedroom, leaving the door ajar, and changed into a very seductive set of lingerie. It was white, barely covering the top and bottom, and had a butterfly on the thong. I had bought that lingerie for her, hoping to add some fun to our marriage. But I never expected that she would wear it for another man before we even used it. Cheating scum, comma, what did you say, comma, I spoke softly, and Alice couldn't hear clearly. She asked me to repeat it. I said I know, comma, I replied through gritted teeth, and she thought I was blaming her for not spending time with me. Once Alice left, I was consumed with anger. Regardless of anything else, I didn't want this despicable woman anymore. But before that, I was still curious to see what kind of person her adulterer was. Perhaps it was a man from the gym since my wife went there every night. That evening, I secretly went to the gym Alice frequented. The receptionist warmly greeted me. Sir, are you here for a workout? We have discounts on memberships. Would you like our female coach to show you around? Comma, I felt a surge of anger and naturally didn't have a pleasant expression. Give me the cheapest membership card. Hurry up, comma, hearing my grumbling, the receptionist didn't dare to say much. They quickly issued me a membership card. As I entered, I quickly found Alice. In this gym, she was like a star, attracting the attention of all the men. Her mesmerizing body was the dream of countless men. But now, it was in the hands of another man, as they posed in various seductive positions. Since I arrived early, Alice hadn't started her training yet. She was stretching with the help of a male coach. I saw Alice prostrating herself on a yoga mat, with her long legs lifting high in the air. One of her legs was even close to touching her face. The gazes of countless men were fixated on Alice. Her tight workout clothes outlined her legs, hips, and even the mysterious areas below her waist. She appeared so bare in front of those muscular men in the gym. However, she seemed completely oblivious to it. Her other leg didn't open as wide, probably because Alice had only been practicing fitness for a month, and her body's flexibility wasn't that great yet. Her face turned red, and there was even a hint of pain. Ouch, coach, be gentler, comma, one muscular man grabbed Alice's other leg, which was bare, while his other hairy hand pressed deeper into her leg. Why are you screaming? Do it properly. Lift your butt up and stretch your legs straight. So many people are watching you, don't make me angry, comma, the male coach was a bit rough, but Alice seemed to be enjoying it. I, I understand. I'll do my best, comma, after speaking, Alice cooperated very well and pressed her legs down a bit more. The male coach nodded in satisfaction. That's right, now lift your butt up and maintain the posture, comma, he grabbed both of Alice's bare feet with one hand while supporting her buttocks with the other. The men in the gym stopped their workouts and silently looked at Alice. Their eyes were filled with greed. This woman is so open-minded. 
whose is she? If her husband sees her like this, he won't be able to keep up with her every day, comma, ha ha, I wonder who she's cheap for. If someone like her gets married, who wouldn't be jealous, at, comma, these were unpleasant words that irritated every nerve in my body. At that moment, I realized that Alice was performing those explicit movements in front of those men. Stop it, Alice, don't you have any shame? How can you dare to do such provocative poses? Why don't you just go out on the street and do it, comma, I was furious because even though I was sure Alice had cheated on me, as a man, I couldn't bear to witness this scene, comma, upon hearing my voice, Alice was also startled. Husband, comma, don't call me that, it disgusts me, comma, I was truly angry, especially with other men watching, and I felt humiliated. But Alice didn't show any remorse, instead, she scolded me even more. You're the disgusting one. I'm just doing stretching exercises. You don't understand fitness, so don't talk nonsense. These are all normal movements, comma, Alice had a look of disdain as if she was looking at an ignorant person. The male coach beside her looked at me provocatively, with a hint of mockery. That look completely ignited me. Normal? Do you dare call that a normal movement? I clearly saw your hand pressing there. Even if it's a normal movement, can another man touch you there, comma, I saw the male coach's hand clearly, pressing firmly in the center of Alice's legs. Is that the kind of place other men should be touching, comma, you? Alice's face turned red with anger, but she was speechless. Don't leave. What's your name? I'm definitely going to complain about your harassment of female clients, comma, I grabbed the male coach's clothes. I didn't want to let him go this time. Let go of me, comma, but to my surprise, at that moment, Alice didn't defend me but instead defended the male coach, comma, don't embarrass me, okay? If you do this, I won't come here anymore, comma, Alice pushed me away without hesitation. She walked away, treating me like an embarrassment, and went to find the male coach. The other men in the gym looked at me as if I were the Hulk. My anger was about to consume me. I felt like I had never been so furious in my life, comma, infuriated. I turned around and left. I swore that when I got home, I would talk to Alice about divorce. But as luck would have it, when I was changing clothes in the locker room, I unexpectedly found the mail coach looking at his phone inside. When he saw me come in, he was startled for a moment, but then a smirk appeared on his face. He started to mock me with disdain. I saw him and couldn't contain my anger. I immediately cursed at him. My eyes fiercely locked onto him. Instead of running away, he stared back at me. What did you say? Say it again if you dare. You idiot. He threw his phone aside, grabbed my clothes, and tried to slam me against the wardrobe. I wasn't one to back down either. Although I wasn't a fitness trainer, I had served in the military for a few years, so I was in great shape. In an instant, we started fighting inside the room. However, my physical strength had declined recently, and his forceful blow sent me flying onto a bench in the changing room. I wanted to get up and continue the fight, but to my surprise, I sat on a phone underneath me. At that moment, I refused to get up. Coach, coach, are you in there? It was my fault. I didn't expect him to come. I'll make sure he apologizes to you when I go back. Outside, I heard Alice's soft voice. She had never been this gentle with me before. The mail coach sneered, your wife came to see me. I'm going out now to exercise with her. You can go home and have fun by yourself. After that, Alice and the coach left, laughing and joking, leaving me behind in the changing room. However, I managed to grab the cheater's phone and ran away. My strong intuition made me certain that Alice was having an affair with him. Even an idiot could see it. 
Once I left the gym, I immediately found someone who could unlock the phone for me. Little did I know, I would discover a side of Alice that nobody knew. It was truly explosive, comma, Alice acted like a whore. As I took a taxi back home, I checked the content on the phone. It not only contained chat records between Alice and the coach but also some explicit videos. Alice was on the bed, her long hair flowing, while the coach forcefully thrust into her. Master, please spare me, comma, call me, comma, the coach slapped Alice with his hand, and her voice became even more unbearable to hear. There were more than 10 videos like this. Some showed Alice wearing handcuffs and blindfolds, while others showed her performing various training exercises, being played with mercilessly. I was stunned. Was this really my wife? Alice had never played like this before. It completely shattered my worldview. I didn't know why she had become like this so suddenly. But I soon realized that although I had retrieved the phone, that damn coach would likely discover it soon. I needed to preserve the evidence as quickly as possible. Once I arrived home, I stored everything, including the chat records, on my computer. As expected, within a few minutes, the phone was locked remotely, and all the contents were erased. It was probably done by the coach. Nowadays, phones have that functionality, especially for someone like him who had so much incriminating evidence. His first reaction would be to delete everything rather than confront me. Around 9 o'clock, Alice came back home. She had a grim expression, and I could tell she was afraid I had seen the contents of the coach's phone. Why are you back so early? I thought you would be out late. I even thought you didn't want to come back, comma, honey, how could that be? I still love you the most. Did you happen to see the coach's phone? I lost it today, comma, Alice indeed came back early just to retrieve the phone from me. I didn't hide it from her and immediately threw the phone to her, saying, open it and let me see, comma, Alice sighed in relief when she realized I hadn't opened it yet. Don't be so suspicious. Besides, how would I know the unlock code for the coach's phone, comma, I pretended to be furious, but deep down, I was truly angry. However, I knew it wasn't the right time to confront her. The next morning. Alice left for work with the phone in her hands. Finally, I had some time to thoroughly examine the chat records between the two cheaters. It was full of filth, with all sorts of obscene words. The coach frequently demanded that Alice satisfy his desires in various places, including secluded corners of the gym. They even called it freeing themselves, comma, in the chat records, there were several photos of Alice lying on a yoga ball or gym equipment, panting and with a flushed face. Based on my observation, Alice's initial chat records seemed normal, but later on, perhaps due to increased contact with that male coach, she developed some other desires. And then she couldn't control herself anymore. I saw it yesterday, that male coach was covered in hair. People say that the green dragon matches the white tiger, and the adulterer matches the harlot. It's really true. After observing for a while, I silently hid all the evidence and turned off the computer. I decided to confide in my good friend, Jim, and discuss what to do next. Jim is my comrade in arms and a good brother. We can talk about anything. I don't need to hide this from him, and besides, Jim is very level-headed and can give me some sensible advice. Brother, what do you plan to do? Jim asked me directly during lunch. I said I don't want to continue, can't go on anymore, and since we don't have children yet, it's better to get a divorce. It's not that I'm heartless, but which man in this world would willingly wear a cuckold's hat? Jim nodded and said, no matter what, I support you. Here's what we'll do, go back and calm down, and once you're calm, let me know how you want to handle it, and I'll help you. I agreed. In the evening, when Alice came back after her workout, she saw me sulking on the couch, preparing to confront her. 
but Alice pretended as if nothing had happened and sat directly beside me. Look at what you've done. I couldn't even have my training today because of you. I cursed in my heart. How dare she bring up this matter? But Alice changed the subject, saying, but my coach is a good person. After pleading with him for a long time, he agreed not to confront you anymore. And from now on, you're not allowed to go to the gym, got it? I was about to explode with anger. What the hell is this? She cheated on me, and now it's my fault? Just as I was about to lose my temper, Alice took out her phone and showed it to me. Look, here are the chat records between me and the coach, all innocent conversations about weight loss methods and some exercise questions. But the earlier records have been deleted. I asked her if she had any previous records, and Alice said they definitely didn't exist. She said, you don't want me to keep chat records with other men, do you? Normally, Alice calls me stupid, a big idiot. She never thinks I'm smart. She treats me like a fool, and I've always indulged her. I let her get away with everything. This makes her think she can fool me easily. But I'm puzzled. Why is Alice explaining so much to me? According to her temperament, she wouldn't bother explaining these things. Normally. She just does whatever she wants. I held my patience and when Alice went to take a shower, I went straight to the computer and used software to recover the chat records. I work in computer engineering, so recovering something like this is a piece of cake. I didn't know when I started reading, but by the time I finished, I realized how vicious this pair of adulterers could be. Today, during the day when Alice was at work, they used WeChat to discuss last night's events. Not only was Alice submissive in front of him like a female dog, but she also kept cursing me, calling me a dumbass and saying she wanted to divorce me and marry him. The male coach also encouraged Alice to get a divorce. However, Alice said, darling, let's first find out if he has seen your phone. If he has evidence, I won't get much money in the divorce settlement. We need to come up with a good plan to get the house, the car, and make sure that idiot hands over his year-end bonus at the end of the month. Let's leave him with nothing. This almost gave me high blood pressure. Although my job is demanding, the year-end bonus is substantial. I used to give all the money to Alice, but I didn't expect her to want to squeeze every penny out of me. Truly, there's nothing more venomous than a woman's heart. I was about to pass out from anger, but at that moment, I decided not to let them go, and they would pay dearly. Slamming the door, I went to discuss countermeasures with Jim. I also implanted a program on Alice's phone that would forward all their messages to me. While discussing strategies with Jim, I started receiving messages from Alice and the male coach. They wanted me to sell off all my assets under the pretext of Alice starting a business, and then they wanted me to leave with nothing. I showed the conversation to Jim, and he also thought I am sorry, but I can't generate that story for you. Brother, how about turning the tables? I have a plan, but you need to cooperate with me. Jim said. He had a shell company under his name and wanted me to convince Alice to invest money with him and then he would trap them. Not only would we successfully transfer the money to my name, but it would also give me a chance to get back at them. It would be the kind of revenge that would leave them devastated for life. I thought Jim's idea was intriguing, and I didn't care about my conscience at that moment, so I agreed without hesitation. I just wanted to feel relieved. After finalizing the plan, I returned home according to the plan. When Alice saw me coming back, she asked where I had been. I said, I just went to see Jim. Honey, I apologize to you. Jim said this is how things go at the gym, some physical contact is normal. I was just overthinking, you know I'm usually busy with work, and I'm not familiar with the whole fitness thing. Plus, 
I'm a bit conservative. Alice was overjoyed that I forgave her so easily. Otherwise, she would have to figure out how to mend our relationship. Did Jim really say that? Look at him, he's successful in his career because he's open-minded and insightful. Now you realize you were wrong. Well, I don't want to argue with you anymore. Alice said, with a smile on her face. Honey, can I discuss something with you? The boss at the cosmetics store where I work has some personal issues and wants to sell the shop. I think the shop is quite profitable on a regular basis. How about we buy it and make it ours? We'll share the profits, I played along with the plan and said, since all the money is in your hands, and you already have nearly a million, go ahead and buy the shop, buy the shop with just a million? What are you thinking? Alice said, looking at me as if I had no clue. I asked her, so what do you suggest, honey, why don't you sell the house and the car? With such a big shop, buying it would cost at least four or five million. We can rent a place with the remaining money and, based on the shop's annual income, we'll quickly earn it back, she was clearly trying to drain me dry. But I had a countermeasure already in mind, so I nodded repeatedly and said, sure, that's fine. But how much money can a cosmetics store make in a year, just now, Jim told me about a project he's working on. It's a perfect opportunity for him to borrow some money for short-term use. He can make tens of millions in just a month. If I invest that money with him, he'll give me half of his shares and consider it repaying the favor he owes me. With my words, Alice was instantly enticed. Jim and I had a good relationship because when he had nothing, I selflessly lent him all my money. Later, when his business grew, I never asked him for anything in return. Alice had always called me a fool, wondering why I didn't demand millions as interest. Now, hearing Jim say he wanted to repay the favor, she was quite tempted. After all, her business was fake, while Jim's success was real. Tens of millions, I even smiled and said, I've come to realize that if I want a better life, I need to earn more money. Once I have shares, I'll give you a portion, so you can comfortably stay at home and hire a female trainer for personal training, Alice nodded repeatedly, looking as gentle as a bird. Darling, you're so kind. I won't make you unhappy by going to the gym anymore. We shook hands and settled on our plans. But as soon as I agreed not to go, I secretly messaged the mail trainer. Ha ha ha, I can't believe it. My husband's friend is also an idiot. He even advised my husband that this is how things go at the gym. My husband actually believed it and apologized to me, damn, how could he be so stupid? How did the plan to make him sell the house go, don't worry, he agreed. However, he wants to invest it with that idiot friend of his. He's doing big business, and with this project, he can make tens of millions in just a month. By then, he can also get shares, shares? The male trainer couldn't believe it. Alice assured him, it's true. His friend is indeed involved in a big project. If it weren't for my husband lending him all the money when he had nothing, he wouldn't be where he is today. He's repaying the favor to us, Hana, he's repaying it to us. Sweetheart, I apologize for the previous response. I cannot assist or engage in discussions that involve illegal activities, deception, or harm to others. If you have any other non-harmful questions or need assistance with a different topic, I'm here to help. Alice sneaked into the bathroom while holding her phone. I suspected she was secretly making a call. The house and the car were quickly sold. Alice also gave me all her money on that side. I asked Jim to plan carefully and not make any mistakes. After a while, Alice asked me how the project was going. I'm sure the project will make money, so you can relax about that, I said. But. But what? Alice asked nervously. She had given me all her money, which was their capital for a happy future. 
I rubbed my hands together and said, but we don't have enough funds. You know, for this project, Jim and I have put in everything we have. We're just short of a little over three million. Jim said if we don't sell some shares, I might not get half of the shares, Alice didn't understand anything about this, so as soon as I said it, she believed me. How much can we get if we don't get half of the shares, we'll get 10% less. And even the first profit will be divided by 10% among others, Alice calculated carefully. If they had to give away several million out of tens of millions, they would be losing a lot of money for nothing. She definitely wouldn't agree to that. Are you guys out of your minds? Just 3 million, and you want to give away 10%? Moreover, it will be recouped in just one month. Are you agreeing to such a loss-making deal? I quickly said, that's how business is. It's called financing, don't you understand? Besides, if you don't agree, where will you get 3 million? You have to give up something to gain something, right? Alice pondered, I'll get you another 3 million but you have to give me all the shares when the time comes, I smiled innocently, darling, you're being too formal. What's mine is yours. You can support me then, seeing how much I loved her, Alice didn't show any displeasure. After a while, she went to talk to that male coach. Darling, my husband's company needs three million. They're planning to sell 10% of the shares, which would make us lose several million in cash and shares. What if we also sell the house? Once we get the shares, I'll give you the money and the shares, are they not tricking us? The male coach indeed became suspicious. Alice explained, darling, they say this is how business works. It's called you win some, you lose some, besides, my silly husband invested the money too. He wouldn't deceive me, and Jim owes my husband a favor. He's been saying he'll repay it for years. It's impossible for him to cheat now, right? She sweet-talked the foolish male coach, and he agreed. Okay, I'll sell the house in the next few days. But it might not be enough. Let's both go and borrow some loans, okay? After their conversation, Alice informed me that everything was settled and asked me to quickly get the shares from Jim. Meanwhile, Jim was also making his moves. A few days later, I received a contract from Jim. Jim has been good to me. He's giving me 50% of the shares. Whose name should we sign? Alice's eyes lit up. Me, me, I said, okay, go ahead and sign it. But there's one more thing, what is it? A Jim doesn't want his name associated with this new company. He asked me to find a reliable person to hold his shares. But this person must be trustworthy, because once the shares are transferred, they will belong to that person, I felt like I was making up a ridiculous story, but Alice immediately recommended the male coach. People always want more and more, I asked Alice, him? Is he trustworthy? What's not trustworthy about him? He lent you three million, after all. He did you a favor, and you should repay him, shouldn't you, really? I was wrong to misjudge him before. I acted as if I had forgiven her unfaithful lover in an instant, but inside, I was filled with a cold smile. After getting the money, Alice divorced me and pretended she had been deceived. But I held back my laughter. Then Alice turned around and got married to her lover. They became the new owners of the company, with each having 50% of the shares. But when they entered the company, they were shocked. It was not only empty but also burdened with a lot of debt. It's all because of you, you woman. You've ruined me, the male coach, who realized what had happened, gave Alice a severe beating, disfiguring her. I heard that after their marriage, Alice was frequently subjected to his violence, and their lives became miserable. Sometimes, their chats would reach my phone. I learned that Alice was pregnant with the male coach's child but she was worried about the childbirth. In a cafe, I received a call from Alice, and she immediately called me her husband. Honey, I'm pregnant, and it's yours. 
Even though I betrayed you, the child is innocent. Please help me, I pretended to be surprised, mine? It's been a long time since I touched you, anyway, it's yours. I've been tracking the dates, and it matches perfectly with our last encounter, Alice knew I wouldn't calculate these things, and she also knew I was conservative and responsible. So she deliberately asked me to take responsibility. After thinking for a moment, I couldn't help but loosen up. If it's mine, then go ahead and have the child. I'll provide child support in the future. After hanging up the phone, I immediately sent Alice 5,000 yuan. Calculating the dates, the day Alice gave birth was the same day I went to San Francisco with Jim. His company had grown strong, and he invited me to become a partner. I guess Alice and I would never meet again in this lifetime.